For the majority of numbered asteroids, almost nothing is known apart from a few physical parameters and orbital elements and some physical characteristics are often only estimated. The physical data is determined by making certain standard assumptions. <laughs> Dimensions Data from the IRAS Minor Planet Survey or the Midcourse Space Experiment MSX Minor Planet Survey available at the Planetary Data System Small Bodies Node PDS is the usual source of the diameter. For many asteroids, lightcurve analysis provides estimates of pole direction and diameter ratios. Pre-1995 estimates collected by Per Magnuson are tabulated in the PDS, with the most reliable data being the syntheses labeled in the data tables as synth. More recent determinations for several dozens of asteroids are collected at the web page of a Finnish research group in Helsinki which is running a systematic campaign to determine poles and shape models from light curves. These data can be used to obtain a better estimate of dimensions. A body's dimensions are usually given as a tri-axial ellipsoid, the axes of which are listed in decreasing order as a times b times c. If we have the diameter ratios mu, Topic A B nu B C from light curves and an iris mean diameter d. One sets the geometric mean of the diameters. D equals A B C one three. Display style D equals A B C caret frac one three. For consistency, and obtains the three diameters. A equals d mu two nu one three. Display style a equals d mu caret two nu caret frac one three. B equals d nu mu one three. Display style b equals d left frac new mu right caret frac one three c equals d new two mu one three display style c equals frac d new caret two mu caret frac one three topic mass Barring detailed mass determinations, the mass m can be estimated from the diameter and assumed density values rho worked out as below. m equals pi a b c rho 6 display style m equals frac pi a b c rho 6 such estimates can be indicated as approximate by use of a tilde tilde Besides these guesstimates, masses can be obtained for the larger asteroids by solving for the perturbations they cause in each other's orbits, or when the asteroid has an orbiting companion of known orbital radius. The masses of the largest Astrowa 1 series, 2 Pallas, and 4 Vesta can also be obtained from perturbations of Mars. While these perturbations are tiny, they can be accurately measured from radar ranging data from the Earth to spacecraft on the surface of Mars, such as the Viking landers. Topic. Density Apart from a few asteroids whose densities have been investigated, one has to resort to enlightened guesswork. See Carey for a summary. For many asteroids a value of rho approximately 2 g per cc has been assumed. However, density depends on the asteroid's spectral type. Krasinski et al. gives calculations for the mean densities of C, S, and M class asteroids as 1.38, 2.71, and 5.32 g per cc. Here, C included Thalen classes C, D, P, T, B, G, and F, while S included Thalen classes S, K, Q, V, R, A, and E. Assuming these values rather than the present approximately 2 grams per cc is a better guess. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Surface gravity. 
Topic: <laughs> Spherical body. For a spherical body, the gravitational acceleration at the surface g is given by g s p h e r i c a l equals g m r 2 display style g underscore erm spherical equals frac gm r caret 2 where g equals 6.6742 times 10 minus 11 meters 3s minus 2 kilograms minus 1 is the gravitational constant m is the mass of the body and r its radius topic irregular body For irregularly shaped bodies, the surface gravity will differ appreciably with location. The above formula then is only an approximation, as the calculations become more involved. The value of g at surface points closer to the center of mass is usually somewhat greater than at surface points farther out. Topic. Centripetal force On a rotating body, the apparent weight experienced by an object on the surface is reduced by the centripetal force, when one is away from the poles. The centripetal acceleration experienced at a latitude θ is g c e n t r i f u g a l equals Minus two pi t two r sin theta display style g underscore erm centrifugal equals left frac two pi t right caret two r sin theta, where t is the rotation period in seconds, r is the equatorial radius, and theta is the latitude. Its magnitude is maximized when one is at the equator, and sin theta equals one. The negative sign indicates that it acts in the opposite direction to the gravitational acceleration g. The effective acceleration is g e f f e c t i v e equals g g r a v i t a t i o n a l plus g c e n t r i f u g a l display style g underscore erm effective equals g underscore erm gravitational plus g underscore erm centrifugal topic close binaries if the body in question is a member of a close binary with components of comparable mass the effect of the second body may also be non negligible Topic. Escape velocity For surface gravity g and radius r of a spherically symmetric body, the escape velocity is v e equals 2 g m r display style v underscore e equals sqrt frac 2 g m r Topic. Rotation period Rotation period is usually taken from light curve parameters at the PDS. Topic. Spectral class Spectral class is usually taken from the Thalen classification at the PDS. Topic. Absolute magnitude 
Absolute magnitude is usually given by the IRAS Minor Planet Survey or the MSX Minor Planet Survey available at the PDS. <inaudible> Albedo Usually given by the IRAS Minor Planet Survey or the MSX Minor Planet Survey available at the PDS. These are geometric albedos. If there is no IRAS, MSX data a rough average of zero. One can be used. Topic. Surface temperature Topic. Mean The simplest method which gives sensible results is to assume the asteroid behaves as a graybody in equilibrium with the incident solar radiation. Then, its mean temperature is obtained by equating the mean incident and radiated heat power. The total incident power is R I N equals 1 minus A L 0 pi R 2 4 pi A 2 Display style r underscore mathrm in equals frac 1 a l underscore 0 pi r caret 2 4 pi a caret 2, where a display style a is the asteroid albedo, precisely the bond albedo. A display style a its semi-major axis l 0 display style l underscore 0 is the solar luminosity ie total power output 3.827 times 1026 w and r display style r the asteroid's radius it has been assumed that the absorptivity is 1 minus a display style 1a the asteroid is spherical it is on a circular orbit and that the sun's energy output is isotropic Using a graybody version of the Stefan-Boltzmann law, the radiated power from the entire spherical surface of the asteroid is R O U T equals 4 pi R 2 E sigma T 4 Display style r underscore mathrm out equals four pi r caret two epsilon sigma t caret four frac, where sigma display style sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant five point six seven zero four times ten minus eight w per square meter k four t display style t is the temperature in kelvins and e display style epsilon is the asteroid's infrared emissivity. Equating R I N equals R O U T display style R underscore mathrm in equals R underscore mathrm out one obtains T equals one minus A L Zero E sigma sixteen Pi a two one four Display style T equals left FRAC one A L underscore zero Epsilon sigma sixteen Pi a carrot two right carrot one quarter The standard value of E display style Epsilon equals 0 0.9, estimated from detailed observations of a few of the large asteroids is used. While this method gives a fairly good estimate of the average surface temperature, the local temperature varies greatly, as is typical for bodies without atmospheres. Topic. Maximum A rough estimate of the maximum temperature can be obtained by assuming that when the Sun is overhead, the surface is in thermal equilibrium with the instantaneous solar radiation. This gives average subsolar temperature of T S S equals 2 T approximately equals 1 
41 t display style t underscore ss equals sqrt 2 t approximately 1.41 t where t display style t is the average temperature calculated as above at perihelion the radiation is maximized and t s s m a x equals 2 1 minus e t display style t underscore ss caret erm max equals sqrt frac 2 1 e t where e display style e is the eccentricity of the orbit Topic. Temperature measurements and regular temperature variations Infrared observations are commonly combined with albedo to measure the temperature more directly. For example, L. F. Lim et al. Icarus, Vo. 173, 385 2005 does this for 29 asteroids. However, it should be pointed out that these are measurements for a particular observing day, and that the asteroid's surface temperature will change in a regular way depending on its distance from the Sun. From the Stefan Boltzmann calculation above, T equals C O N S T A N T times 1 D display style T equals erm constant times frac 1 sqrt D where D display style D is the distance from the Sun on any particular day if the day of the relevant observations is known the distance from the Sun on that day can be obtained online from eg the NASA orbit calculator, and corresponding temperature estimates at perihelion, aphelion, etc. can be obtained from the expression above. Topic. Albedo inaccuracy problem There is a snag when using these expressions to estimate the temperature of a particular asteroid. The calculation requires the bond albedo A, the proportion of total incoming power reflected, taking into account all directions, while the IRAS and MSX albedo data that is available for asteroids gives only the geometric albedo P which characterizes only the strength of light reflected back to the source the Sun. While these two albedos are correlated, the numerical factor between them depends in a very non-trivial way on the surface properties. Actual measurements of bond albedo are not forthcoming for the majority of asteroids because they require measurements from high phase angles that can only be acquired by spacecraft that pass near or beyond the asteroid belt. Some complicated modeling of surface and thermal properties can lead to estimates of the bond albedo given the geometric one, but this far is beyond the scope of a quick estimate for these articles. It can be obtained for some asteroids from scientific publications. For want of a better alternative for most asteroids, the best that can be done here is to assume that these two albedos are equal, but keep in mind that there is an inherent inaccuracy in the resulting temperature values. How large is this inaccuracy? A glance at the examples in this table shows that for bodies in the asteroid albedo range, the typical difference between bond and geometric albedo is 20% or less, with either quantity capable of being larger. Since the calculated temperature varies as 1 a 1 quarter, the dependence is fairly weak for typical asteroid A approximately equals p values of 0.05-0.3. The typical inaccuracy in calculated temperature from this source alone is then found to be about 2%. This translates to an uncertainty of about plus or minus 5 K for maximum temperatures. Other common data. Some other information for large numbers of asteroids can be found at the Planetary Data System Small Bodies node. Up-to-date information on pole orientation of several dozen asteroids is provided by DOC. Miko Kosselainen, and can be used to determine axial tilt. Another source of useful information is NASA's orbit calculator. References Topic. External links 
The Planetary Data System small bodies node. 